All right, so in this video, we are going to determine some resistances of resistors based on their color codes. Uh, I'm gonna run through a couple different examples here. And if you remember from the previous video, when we do this, we want to look at the resistor so that the color bands are on the left side when we look at it, not on the right side. If they're on the right side, flip it 180 degrees over and look at it so they're in this orientation. And do remember that the first color band represents the first digit of the resistance. The second color band represents the second digit. The third band represents the multiplier, so it'll be times 10 to the power of one of these guys. And then the fourth band represents the tolerance, so the plus or minus uh, percentage, uh, you know, because these come with a little bit of a range of accuracy. So let's take a look at this one. Uh, the first color band is blue. So we want to come over here and locate blue. So we're going to come down until we get to here. Uh, and we're going to see that the digit that we'll be using for the first digit is going to be 6. Now we're going to take a look at the second color band here. You can see it's black, so we're going to come and look for black. The digit is going to be 0. So we can drop that in as well as our second digit. And then the multiplier is gold. So we're going to come down for our color code for the third band until we find gold, which is this guy. Uh, for multiplier, it is 10 to the minus 1. So we can write this as times 10 to the minus 1. And then the fourth band is also gold. So we're going to come down here. And the fourth band represents tolerance. So we'll come over to tolerance. We can see it's plus or minus 5%. So we can write that in like that. Um, now we should just write this, clean this up a little bit and write it in units of ohms. So 60 times 10 to the power of negative 1 is just equal to 6.0. And the units are ohms, plus or minus 5%. That is the maximum amount of accuracy that this manufacturer has said that this resistor is good until. So it might not be exactly 6 ohms in real life. It might be 5% less than that or 5% greater. All right, let's move on to another example. And this time we're looking at a resistor with green, green, brown, red for the color codes. So let's take a look at what our first digit would be. We're going to come in here, we're going to find green. So the digit is going to be 5, and uh, that's going to be 5 for the first digit and 5 for the second digit because they're both green. And then we'll locate brown for the multiplier, so we'll come down until we find brown, which is right here. Multiplier is times 10 to the 1, so we're going to have this times 10 to the power of 1. And then the tolerance red here is going to be plus or minus 2%. All right, so let's just clean this up a little bit. 55 times 10 to the power of 1 is just 55 times 10. Uh, so that is 550 ohms, plus or minus 2%. So that is the resistance of this resistor based on the color code. All right, let's jump to the next example. And in this case, we've got red, blue, and then silver and silver. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what your screen will display compared to what I see on my screen when I'm recording, so it might look a bit gray to you, but uh, I have written here that it is, in fact, silver to uh, clarify that. If you're looking at a real resistor in real life, it would probably be quite a lot easier to determine silver versus gray. Um, but anyway, sometimes I know actually YouTube can distort the colors a little bit um, of the videos. So anyways, um, for the first digit, we're looking at red here, so we're going to come into our list until we find red, which is right here. So the first digit is going to be 2. We can write that in our space here. The second digit is going to be blue, so let's look here for blue. Second digit is going to be 6, so we can write that. And then, then times our multiplier uh, for silver, we got to come down here and find silver. Our multiplier is going to be times 10 to the negative 2. And for tolerance, we're silver as well. So it's gonna be plus or minus 10%. So 26 times 10 to the minus two, we just move that decimal place two points over and we're gonna get, we can just rewrite this as 0 0.26 and the units are in fact ohms, uh, plus or minus 10%. And so that would be the answer if you're looking for the resistance of this resistor based on these color codes. All right, let's do one last example here. So in this case, we've got a resistor with brown, orange and black. There's only actually three lines. The tolerance is blank. Um, and we'll see how we work with that. So uh, taking a look first at our first digit for brown, we're going to come into here. We're going to come down until we find brown, which was right here. So the first digit is going to be one. 
The second digit, we're looking for the orange color, so orange second digit is going to be three. We can write that as well, times our multiplier of black, which is going to be, uh, <laughs> there we go, at the top, uh, times 10 to the zero. And for tolerance, there's no line here. So when we look in our, in our code here, uh, when there's no color, that actually indicates that it's a plus or minus 20% tolerance. So don't get thrown off when you uh, only see three, it's okay. Don't forget that no color is actually an option as well. Uh, at least when it comes to the tolerance. So um, 13 times 10 to the zero is just equal to 13 times one. So our answer here is just 13 ohms plus or minus 20%. So that's really all there is to it. Um, hopefully that makes sense. So you should be able to identify any resistor now based on its color codes. And do make sure that if you are doing this in real life with a real resistor, that you hold it so that the colors are on the left hand side like this and not on the right hand side because this color code works assuming that you are looking at it with the colors on the left and reading from left to right.